Okay, so the exhibition has two main hooks, the first being that South African archaeology preserves some of the earliest evidence of artistic thought and production of anywhere in the world, and the second being that South Africa has one of the most vibrant contemporary art scenes of anywhere in Africa, and that is increasingly being recognised by galleries and museums around the world. So this exhibition tells what's possibly the longest art history of any country in the world, from the very earliest art objects to the most recent. So IAG transported approximately 50 items, 50 artworks from South Africa, um, the 8,000 mile journey from South Africa to the UK. The artworks came from 11 different institutions and they include historic, archaeological and contemporary artworks that include some of South Africa's most important artworks and most important treasures. They travelled from institutions in Cape Town, Pretoria and Johannesburg um, and then they flew on an 8,000 um, mile journey to London where they were brought to the British Museum. So the very oldest item in the exhibition is the three million year old Makapanskat pebble. This little pebble was found alongside the remains of an early human um, ancestor, an Australopithecus africanus, um, and we believe that that um, ancestor collected the stone because of the face-like qualities in it that were naturally made but looked like an eye, two eyes, a nose and a mouth. Um, and they carried it with them and collected it, protected it, uh, because they valued it because of how it looked. And so it's the possibly could be considered one of the world's earliest known examples of found art. The Zamenkod's panel is a large panel of uh, rock art made by Sam Bushman. It was found in a cave um, in 1912. It was found face down, and because it had fallen off the wall by natural processes, this had actually protected the painting. And it's now one of the best preserved rock art panels in a museum collection anywhere in the world. Mary Sabande's A Reversed Retrogress from the series The Purple Shall Govern talks about Mary's past, present and future. It consists of two life-size figures that were cast from Mary's own body. The left um, side figure uh, is called Sophie, represents three generations of Mary's family um, maternal line who all worked in white South African households. So we're very excited to be able to exhibit uh, the gold sculptures from Mapungubwe, including the bowl, the scepter, the rhino, the bovine and the uh, feline. This is the first time that many of those objects have ever left South Africa. These uh, objects are extremely important. They are the sculptures from three royal graves from the first earliest Southern African Kingdom, Mapungubwe. Um, they're powerful objects in terms of what they represent, but also in terms of the material used, the gold that was used. They're also important today as symbols of the new South Africa because they've been recognised as South Africa's national treasures and the gold rhino has been placed at the centre of South Africa's highest award, the Platinum Order of Mapungubwe. The, the first recipient of that award in 2002 was Nelson Mandela. Mm -hmm.